now let's get into the project cleanup but before that i am going to mention things that i already have that i am expecting you to have as well so that whatever that i do you can be able to do so let's just quickly go to plugins and extension here i'm going to type es7 okay there is an extension for creating um code snippet you just type a shortcut and it will give you a boilerplate and that extension is uh, es7 react for slash redux graphql as you can see it has got a very long name so i have already installed that um that extension i think the other important extension it's a tailwinds extension but i don't know the actual name i think it's tailwind intelligence here is it so as you can see this helps you to get um tailwind autocomplete something that i heavily rely on okay so make sure that um you've got this uh tailwind autocomplete the other one i think it comes as a default on 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 visual studio code and it's prettier okay but if it doesn't in case i'm wrong you can come and install also a prettier code for matter that is all that i can think of um at the moment please make sure that you also um have these extension if you want to get ex exactly what i have or do things exactly the same way as i do so this is not a next.js um course so i'm not going to explain much about these let's just get into cleaning the project so with next.js you've got this app folder and the actual page that is going to be loaded it's this one okay so let's just get in here what we're going to do here we're going to press ctrl a and delete everything yes everything so we are going to type rfa c we are supposed to get an autocomplete here let me just delete r a f c e so my approach is about this okay r a f c e as you can see okay this is what i want okay as you can so what makes this possible it's that extension the es7 redux uh, forward graphql with a long name so this extension make this possible so as you can see what we've just created here we have just created a react functional uh, component an empty one so let me just type test here and then as a good programming practice i'm going to change my component name into capital letters okay as you can see my component names are all in capital letters and even when i'm exporting it and then from there what we want to do we want to save this um, and then we want to go to the global styles here on the global styles we want to go to um the body let's see okay inside the body next js they've got some certain colors here for background we are going to delete that we want our background to be pure white okay and then we can save this and then after that we can run this command let me just minimize this and we can type here npm run dev okay so we are running development so what will happen here this will create some sort of a virtual server or an imitation of the server that will run on a certain web address and that web address it's local hey guys my apologies for disturbing in case you didn't know we've got a course at udemy if you are watching this on coded design i also got another youtube channel for teaching you figma and that channel is coded ui in case you want to be updated by everything that we do here at coded design please check the link in the description below to our Substack newsletter thank you so much i hope you are enjoying host 3000 this one so what you can do you can just go to your browser and type localhost 3000 okay like this or what you can do you can come here and do as they are instructing control click if you want to follow this control and click let's see am i following it control click as you can see automatically it opens localhost 3000 so let's wait for it so i am expecting this to show the test on a page and that is it so as we 
make changes here and save them. Let me close this one. So as we make changes here and save them, they will automatically be reflected here in this server. Okay, as you can see, this is our test as and it's in a um, white uh, background. Let me just make sure I don't need this one. Okay, let me just make sure that I have saved the changes so that they can appear here as I said. Okay, let me just type two here and click and save and then let's come back here and see. Okay, let me just refresh manually for now. Okay, to see what will happen. It looks like my computer is low and I do understand why. It's simply because there is a task that is running at, um, in the background. I am saving a YouTube uh, video or a YouTube tutorial. In case you didn't know, I am Matthew Msingati. I've got a, a coaching course. You might click here and give me your name and your surname to um, get your one hour free coaching session. You can ask me anything that you want to ask me. I've got also a YouTube uh, uh, channel, which is Coded Design. This is where I teach coding, okay? As you can see, guys, you can come here and support this channel as well. In case you didn't know, I'm the double-edged sword, the best of both worlds, and I am the hybrid. I'm also a designer as well so i've got this channel which is coded ui where i teach people how to design awesome user interfaces on figma so please guys if you've got time you can come and check here as well so let's go back to here as you can see guys everything has been set up so thank you so much for making it this far see you on the next one